Hey everybody, check this out. I'm just going to go ahead and get to it. I really feel some type of way. Check it, fair use. Deputies say that this man shot his daughter's ex-boyfriend several times while standing in the driveway. The 23-year-old victim now fighting for his life in the hospital. Deputies say the victim had just shown up at the house to see the man's daughter. Investigators say the oh, two were please. still friends. Fox 25's Valerie Boyd joins us live. She was in the courtroom when he faced a judge. And Valerie, he was stunned that he didn't get caught. That's right. You know, that dad says he was the one who called 911 for help, yet he's the one behind bars. Uh -uh. This is body cam from the scene. Investigators say Todd Powers shot his daughter's ex-boyfriend. However, Powers claims he was the victim. Powers goes before a judge desperate to tell his side of the story despite advice from an attorney not to. While my home was being invaded, my child was being attacked, and I called the police. So I don't understand why I'm being held without a bond. My Listen to the 911 call from the daughter. Do you know who was doing the shooting? It was my dad. My ex boyfriend just showed up to my house and he wouldn't leave. And they started fighting, so my dad shot him. Do you know why? My ex boyfriend is harassing me. I don't know why he would pop up to my house. And then I saw blood coming down. I can't be shot on the side. Felicia deputies say 46 year old Power shot a 23 year old man several times. This neighbor says he saw the victim laying on the driveway. But he was gasping for air. Oh, and at first, right. I didn't think he, I thought he, he was dead. Say. That's what I thought at first. But then I saw him, and then as soon as the police were able to give him first aid, they gave him, gave him CPR, and right away he reacted. Started moving around. When the victim arrived to the driveway, that's when an argument started. Shortly after that, shots were fired. Powers says deputies never questioned him before being arrested. And I was placed under arrest without being charged for six hours, kicking from my home. I'm the one that called the police, Your Honor. And deputies say even though it was the victim who threw the first punch, it was Powers who shot the unarmed man. That, that man is now in critical condition. See, I'm calling bull crap. You all are, I, so what are you supposed to do? Just let him punch you out? I don't think so. Just let him just punch you out? You bought your dust behind. I'm starting to wonder here because I noticed initially in the reporting, it said investigators say that their investigation, that the two are friends. Says who? The two are friends and um, when, the, when the boyfriend showed up. I'm wondering, is the boyfriend a dusty Dan? I'm wondering, is the boyfriend a Dusty Dan? Volusia County, this is Florida. In Florida, someone can be trying to steal your car. You get popped, they won't face charges. So I'm wondering if the boyfriend might be a Dusty Dan, and they're just taking his word because it doesn't make sense. How the hell did your investigation conclude that the two were friends? Says who? The fool that's laid up in the hospital that got shot. You can take those hands, you end up getting some buck shots. This makes no sense. I think they're taking his, the boyfriend's word. The two are still friends. The girl just said ex-boyfriend, you've been harassing her. Doesn't sound like friends to me. He threw the first punch. So you're saying, oh, black man, you should just go ahead and just start fighting bull crap. This is a stand your ground, but I see the stand your ground doesn't want to pop when you're in brown. Florida, you done blanked this one up. This is some bull crap. The DA, you done blank this one up. This is some bull crap. The man, this is his home, who I don't care if it's Dusty Dan or not. You bought your Dusty behind somebody's house. You threw those hands. They started fighting. Who, the man got to fight with you. You should have took your monkey ass on. I'm wondering, really, if it's Dusty Dan, because I'm not seeing how you can have an investigation and say, oh, the guy is visiting, there were friends. Says who? Oh, that's what he said. That's not what the daughter says. And she's an ex-girlfriend. She says ex-boyfriend and he was harassing. So that tells me in this investigation, the police, you're taking a word oh, of one person. Who was that? That's what it sounds like to me. And who was that one person, a boyfriend? Put his face on the screen. I want to see his ass. Where is he at? He showed up. You should have left. Oh, they started fighting. The man has a right to protect his home. This is a bunch of BS. I want to make a note. I just want to kind of, uh, I gotta, I want to get some more time to kind of investigate this man, try to call and get some answers. This is BS.
he did the same thing anybody else would do so i guess to stand your ground is not going to pile when you're when you're brown i'm telling you this is bull crap i want to see the boyfriend put his mug up there baby doll the daughter do a go find me for the legal fees because this court reported i think this guy's the court uh appointed attorney he ain't gonna do crap he about he just getting his little check for retirement and i'm not trying to be funny you've been with the days off of all this time old as you looking not, not ageism no law firm called you speaks volumes that's the lowest pay to get so i don't expect any stellar results from you from grandpappy over here just be quiet and do a plea deal. I hope he don't come with that. See, and, and this, this, this is the, the part that angers me so about these dusties. We are in a fight of our lives and we got these old dusty ass uh, chocolate drops. We are providing killing each other. See, here, see, here's the thing that our people don't seem to understand. A lot of our folks are real slow. Let me try to school you if you're real slow. And for the ones that doesn't apply to five, but for the dumb Negroes in the room, let me try to school your ass, okay? Here's what you don't freaking understand about being about wartime. You're under attack and not realizing. Do you not think those people are very, some people are very cunning. Yo, the, the, the dusties don't freaking get it. They can check and say, oh, here's a black man. This is beyond a Dusty's comprehension and Dustina too. Do me a favor, shut the hell up and please listen. I'm trying to school you. And what they don't seem to understand. When you're a black person, let's say you're middle class and you have a home. Money is not getting the damn streets marching. Money's in the wealth and the power. It's in generational wealth. So let me tell you how some people that Dusty's don't understand how they think. They'll be on a path and they'll check it out. Oh, he has a home. Oh, okay. When people don't like your ass, they will try to bring you down. And they don't look at you. And I know I'm talking kind of loud because I'm up in my feelings, you damn skippy. Because I see what the real deal is. I can see beyond this little court show that's going on. When people don't like you, they know one thing. They don't like black people. Our people are so damn stupid. They'll see what they call an enemy and go make the enemy fat and rich and then stop out your own. These are the dumbest blankers on the planet. Excuse the expression. When people do not like you, they know how to get you where it hurts. So any kind of situation here, this is not warranted. And then no bond makes no sense. Let's see, what would a person who doesn't like you think? Don't do a bond. And maybe the person will lose his job or his business. Oh, legal fees. Ooh, you're an older black man. You still got some work in your zinnia. You might exhaust your savings on this. You might lose your job. Have an adverse effect on your business. You have to mortgage your house. Ooh, you done lost your house. Less generation of wealth. That's how people like that that run shit think. They know they hit you in your pockets. They're not going to be up in your face like I'm talking to you now. They can talk real soft and got a plan that a lot of dusty yo chocolate drop ass does not understand. That's how they operate. That's how they're on top. They know where the power lies. So they can see that and think, we need to try to bring this one down. Yeah, it's my opinion. Call it cuckoo. No, this shit works. It's happened before. It happens all the time. Why do you think when they do these home inspections, they see it's black? Pictures up? Oh, it's only worth $150. Put in all white family pictures. It's not worth $259. We know it's racism, but food, you understand, is more than racism. The finances. They want you to get less money. They look less money in your pocket. In this country, uh, the powers of money. It's not in marching. I'm going to march. I got my shoes on. And you still marching. And you still got not a darn thing changed. Only thing is the one at the top making a whole lot of money. I feel march. I'm going to march. Okay, and... I done marched so got some my, the soles of my shoes. It's best I got to go buy some more shoes real good and go ahead and go to a store and spend their spend your money. You know, march those shoes off for what? You still don't have any change. So when I started, I knew I'm like, yeah, this don't make any sense. I wonder if it's Dusty Dan. Is the boyfriend. I'm just kind of wondering. Show his face. Girlfriend, I would put him out if it was his daughter. I would let him hear here's what happened. Do a go find me for medical. I would put the boyfriend out. Any text messages, go ahead and put all that out to, to put that out to the community. But see, we don't want to do all of that. 
We want to sit in silence and suffer. That's your darn problem. Oh, I would paint an image to him, to the community. Any threatening messages, a text message, I would have that stuff printed out, put it all on social media. See, we don't, our people don't even know how to fight. We got to fight each other. Any kind of threatening message, put it all on social media. Put all that out. Bring that to the news, sweetheart. Go do that. We scared. Don't know how to fight. Always protecting the enemy. That's why a lot of black women protecting these hashtag Negroes. Don't know how to fight. He harassing you, printing all the text messages. Print them out. Put that to the media. Put them on YouTube. Fight for your father. Let him know he's got a code upon an attorney. We have a family. Do a video on that. I have a lot to lose. My dad was protecting me. Our people don't want to do that. And hear that. That's work. So we just rather suffer in silence. So him, this don't make no darn sense. This fool done threw the first punch. Oh, really? And the man protecting himself. Yeah, they might want you to lose your house, your job, if you have, or your business. They want to cause an adverse financial. They, a lot of people want to cause you to suffer financially. That That's the war right there. Black folks don't get it. All this on the Section 8 thing. You think that in this day wasn't going to come? Me and my friends, I, I remember having this conversation before the woman. This probably over 10 years ago. Thinking that was going to come and now it's here. Go ahead and keep that up. Then they, if you ask me, snatch the rug out from underneath you behind and now what? Even working people. Who comes up with that dollars a month every month? Sure, some people can do it, but who the hell wants to? What am I getting out of it? Nothing extra. The same living conditions, the same square footage. Because I said so. Because I own the property. Because they control it. That's why we have to watch how we move. You realize in times like this, you have very little control over your life. Maybe a little less than what you thought. But see, this right here, it's time to strategize. Our people don't want to hear that. I would get, if he threatened me, those text messages I put on social media, I'd be calling the news to put the heat on the DA. But we don't think like that. We don't think like that. I'm just going to wait out in silence and pray. And you, you're going to pray and he's still going to be in damn jail, protecting you. And when you try to tell people like this, black people, I've noticed that. I'm going to be real quiet. Put his face out there. He attacked me. My father was protecting me. Put it out there. We want to protect. We want to protect. Your father staying gone that long, you might end up in darn foreclosure. You and your ex boo the fool. Put it... Put this fool out on blast. It couldn't be me. I put him out on blast. Well, first of all, we're not going to get that far. Number one, I'm older than the daughter. Number two, I don't you know. Trust, trust and believe. Real quick, I dated a guy a long, long time ago. Oh, my gosh. I think I was mid-20s. And he pulled that little stunt. Uh, one of my homegirls told me we're going to come up to my job and I do to a little misunderstanding, a little breakup. And, uh, she said, girl, did you all have a difference? Because he came up here and he was really mad I was at lunch. I said, I said, yeah. He said, girl, I could tell he was mad. And he knew, he recognized, took us, we had a, you know, had an outing one time. And he asked where I was. She said, oh, I told him, you know, she took off today. She's not here. And so she alerted me to it. I thought she said, oh, she said, girl, I think he might try to clown you and your job. I said, oh, okay. So I, so what I did when I got off work, first of all, when she did that, it made me very angry. So I said, let me go see if he's still down there. Because, no, we, I see how this is going to go. I got me a nice little setup here. Now I just bought my first private. Oh, no. So I didn't. I went down there. Thank goodness he was gone. So uh, I called him after work. I said, yeah, I understand you came up on my job today. You appeared a little upset. Is everything okay? Oh, no, no, it wasn't nothing. Okay, good. So I said, I'm just, I said, well, then I said, I know we had a difference. Well, I just made it real clear. And I was in my mid-20s. I made it real clear. So th this, just so that we're clear, I'm like my grandmother on my dad's side. If you think because we have a difference, you're going to come up to my job and you're going to act the fool and get me fired. I let him know, guess what? It's a two-way street. It's a two-way street. We'll both be fired. So I used to be a little hothead. Uh-huh. So just so, just so that we know, you, you know. 
already got bought my house. You got you a contract on a, a putting on a brand new house. So just in case you think you want to get the idea to roll up on my job and cause a scene and to get me fired, guess what? I will be up at yours the next day. That's how it's going to go down. So this will be very foolish. We'll both be fired with no job. And you won't get your new house. I already got mine. Well, I wasn't brand new. So I just want to make sure that we're clear on this issue. And you know what? He was quiet. Well, obviously clear. That was it. Mm-hmm. That was it. I'm like, what are you doing? What are you doing? My job? Oh, you're trying to, oh, you're trying to cause a, I've heard about this. Oh, you that kind. I didn't, okay. So yeah, I just, we're going to step in front of it. I'm going to let you know what you're dealing with. I may be short, but yeah, I'm going to let you know what you're dealing with. It's a two-way street. Trust and believe. So this right here, we don't know how to fight. I'm thinking it's Dusty Dan. Anybody, anybody get a picture? Anybody, anybody get a picture of the boyfriend? Man, let, let's see what this fool look like. As for the daughter, sweetie, you got work to do. And not sitting up waiting to see what's going to happen. You and your mom who's in the house, it's time to start strategizing. That's what black folks don't do. We just sit up and let some shit happen. And wait and see, and I'm going to pray. You got to board and pray. If you think prayer is the only thing that works, that's one part of it. But you have to get some action. It already says for those who are Christian or in the Bible, something about uh, faith that works is dead. So I believe something's going to happen. I believe I can believe. Well, don't pay that mortgage and don't pay that rent. And you believe you're going to stay right there. Well, keep on believing. And don't pay or don't do it. Make some moves to move out. You're going to keep on believing until you hear and you can best believe, you pray about it, and you can believe. You can be praying as they show up. You still going to have 15 minutes to get yourself a hiccup out of there. You see what I mean? So faith for that works is dead. I believe, I believe. Uh-huh. You believe. Now let's go ahead and plant that uh, that active seed. Let's get it going. What are we going to do now? We believe so much. Now what's next? Life is business. So this, I wonder what the family's doing besides sitting up and hoping and praying. Y- y'all better get out of this mess, honey. It, it's, it's not going to work. I believe I don't know. I already know down tens of thousands of dollars in the stock market, but I believe it's gonna go up. But guess what? I'm still gonna try to hold on to a little cash because I don't know how long it's gonna last. So this time I'm calling it bullcrap. But I wanted to show you a lot of people think it's more to it than that. Any our people, what my daddy say? You've been you've been here all this time and don't know how those people work. You've been here all this time, and you don't know how life works. You don't figure it out. So, yeah, if that had been a little apartment, maybe nothing. But you, our people don't understand the fight in the war is on. So the fact that he has a home, they would love to bring him down. Love to go ahead and run through your bank account. Flip the script. I guarantee if it was Dusty Dan, we wouldn't be having it. This is a bunch of bull crap. A bunch of nonsense. So I am so in my feelings about this. I am so enraged because my dad was a protector, would have done the same thing. This right here, man, it just kills me how our people and when you try to have conversations like this. I've noticed it with some black women. You know, and it's like, you know, oh, we got some white friends and good for you. So what I do too. I've had white family members. I do too. I know a whole bunch of them. I do too. Okay. Issues like this, who they wanna. Oh, I don't want to talk about the hell. I'll talk about it. Ask the ones that know me. Oh, yeah. I'll talk about it in a heartbeat because that's me. That's who I am. A lot of us, we want to try to pretend. Well, I don't want to get into those issues. You know, I got my nice home girl and my Mercedes Benz. And, you know, I got some white friends. So I'm like, boy, I have to watch what I say with her because I see you might be a little dangerous. Mm-hmm. You might. You, uh, yeah, we, we, we still cool, girl, but, hmm. Yeah, you don't want to get too want you don't want to get too black. That's that's really sad. It's really sad. Don't want to touch those black issues. I, I got you. Good luck when it comes your way. Anyway, I am out. This has been a little long winded, and I, oh my gosh, I still got to go. Thanks for watching. Feel free to come, like, subscribe, and share. This right here just shows you a good example. Besides that, the resources they would love for you to drop to drain up your resources on an issue like this here and have to start over. 
So I want to see the boyfriend. I'm starting to wonder if the boyfriend, my the ex-boyfriend, I wonder if he's a dusty dan because they have obviously taken his word. Oh, they were friends. Says who? And what the investigation is. Who did the investigation? I bet the cops are white and the dusty dan is white. Boop, night, night. That's what I'm starting to think about this here. Anyway, let me know what you think. Okay, I'm through talking with my loud mouth. I'm out.